So I've got this very common problem with the LCD monitor that when you turn the power on to it, it comes on, it'll display the logo on it for a moment, and then it'll go right back off. And it doesn't do much else. It turns out it's only a, a couple dollars worth of little pieces parts that uh, gets these things fixed. So watch this. Okay, so this is the power supply board that comes out of there. It has the uh, power supply and transformers to the inverter. It takes your 110 down to the uh, DC levels to control the circuitry in there, and it also ups the voltage to power the uh, backlight in the screen using these outputs here. But anyway, when one of these screens doesn't want to come on or when it has a lot of issues, you know, nine times out of ten, it's one of these little 30 or 50 cent capacitors. And that's these little guys here that are standing up. Now most of the time, when you look at the top of them, and you see they're bulged out, it's a little hard to say, but you see the top of them are bulged out. That usually means they're blown and need to be replaced. And you see these other ones here are flat. Now you can't always go by that, but most of the time, that is the case. That when they're flat, they're still good, and when they're bulging out, they're dead. But anyway, you have to uh, use your trusty soldering iron, and you go up underneath, and you remove them, by delicately unsoldering these things from there. Then you read the specifications on it. Now I just did another monitor, and the specifications on this guy was 220 microfarad at 35 volts. And you want to make sure that you get the same farad rating, and you can go with a higher voltage, but never go with a lower one. Higher voltage will make these things last longer. You get a much better lifetime out of them. So anyway, we're gonna replace these capacitors with some that I have, and then we're gonna put the thing back together and see if she works that little component and I'm gently lifting my the back side with my finger like this just put a little bit of pressure on it, and then I can just work it back and forth until it pops out of there and don't apply too much heat because if you do that you might melt the trace on the board or you might burn something else that's nearby to that component the capacitors themselves are pretty heat resilient though so I wouldn't worry too much about burning up the capacitors themselves Here it is, and it's out. There's a little guy, throw it away. That's a 1,000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor. Down below here I have a circuit board that coincidentally has the identical component on it, even by the same manufacturer. 16 volt, 1,000 microfarad. Now these are free, of course, because it's on an old bus circuit board. And they appear to have flat tops, so we're going to assume that they're good. We're going to pull those off the board and we're going to solder them down onto the new board. Now I'm going to need two of them, so we're going to swipe two. Alright, we got them removed from the circuit board. Now you want to observe the polarity on these guys, and they usually have a stripe, and that's the negative side. And you want to look for the stripe on the circuit board or the negative side, sometimes it's labeled positive, but that little round spot with those two holes is where the capacitor goes. The stripe, as you see, is there, that's the negative. Now the other circuit board that you had, that had to do, yeah, actually it even shows the positive right there on that other hole, right? to the right there, so it shows positive. So anyway, you can put this guy in there, you want to make sure that stripe is oriented so it faces to the left just like that, so that way the two stripes go together. Start them back down, and we'll put the thing back together and see what we got. Alright, we've got the monitor strung back up, it's hooked up to the uh, computer that's here, everything's ready to go, we got the power hooked up, so if we turn on the power, it should flash an Acer logo. There it is, Acer, and then it should come on. There it is, presto, one fixed screen. It took me about a whole dollar's worth of components to repair it.